This episode of Marijuana Today Daily is brought to you by the folks over at Ease, California's top one-stop website for legal marijuana delivery. Ease.com is the website to open when you want fully state-compliant marijuana delivery, or if you're just looking for great quality products that will be delivered right to your door in less than an hour. Whatever your motivations are as a consumer, Ease.com is there for you. Ease partners up with the best dispensaries in their active areas who fulfill and deliver the orders you place through Ease.com, spelled E-A-Z-E. Ease's extensive menu is packed with properly tested, labeled, and packaged cannabis flour, tinctures, edibles, concentrates, and more. Find out for yourself all the different things available for order through Ease by opening up Ease.com. If you live in a part of California where delivery is allowed and where Ease is active, you could be just minutes away from place your order. Thanks to everyone over at Ease for the support that makes today's news possible. Good morning, Marijuana Nation. It's Wednesday, May 23rd, 2018, and you're tuned in to episode 496 of Marijuana Today Daily. I'm your host, Shay Gunther, and I'll be walking you through today's marijuana news and headlines. As always, we have a full and busy day of cannabis news in our hands, so let's jump right into it. Our top story today is a good piece published over at Marijuana Business Daily looking at all the important things to know about the latest round of updated rules governing California's legal marijuana industry. The state released those rules on Friday, so John Schroyer's able parsing of the update is well-timed and one that you need to click over to for all the details. Some of the bigger changes include making permanent a formerly temporary rule allowing medical marijuana license holders to do business with adult use license holders. The business model of operating a fully stocked delivery vehicle was also banned. Now delivery drivers have to operate more like they're delivering pizza rather than driving around an ice cream truck, which the mobile dispensaries were more like. California-based marijuana company MedMen just broke ground on a new production facility in California that will be capable of churning out 10,000 pounds of marijuana flour per year. The new facility is located in Desert Hot Springs, California, and is just one of a number of identically designed facilities the company is planning to open up, with the next one to launch in New York State later this year. Each facility is a fully vertically integrated design with 26,000 square feet of high-tech greenhouse space and 19,000 square feet of processing and manufacturing space. The company says that each factory, when fully operational, will employ around 100 workers. MedMen has more than 800 employees, currently operates 18 different facilities in the U.S., and has well-publicized sites ongoing public in Canada, so this factory model of theirs is worthy of particular note. Canadian marijuana firm Cannabis Wheaton announced yesterday a deal to raise more than $100 million Canadian, or around $78 million U.S., in investment. Cannabis Wheaton has signed a deal with a group of underwriters led by BMO Capital Markets, which is significant in that it's a branch of the Bank of Montreal, a very old school and traditional bank that's taken a bit of a leadership position in financing Canadian cannabis deals. Cannabis Wheaton will use the proceeds of the round to fund their domestic and international operations and expects to close by the end of the month. You can open up new Cannabis Ventures for all the deal points on this one. As always, we have all the news we cover linked to on our website at mjtodaydaily.com and on our Twitter account at mjtodaydaily. Those are our top stories for today. It's time for Marijuana Today Daily Headlines Blitz. Before we blitz on the headlines, let's quickly thank our sponsor, Ease, California's top one-stop website for legal marijuana delivery. Open up Ease.com and look for the little icon that reads shop or just type in Ease.com slash menu to scan Ease's extensive array of products available for delivery. There's flour and vaporizer cartridges, packs, pods, and G-Pen inserts, edibles, drops, sprays, and capsules, and even products for your pets. Maybe you fancy pre-rolls or concentrates or just need topicals or any number of cannabis accessories. It's all there at ease.com, where you can get an order going in minutes that will be delivered in less than an hour, assuming you live where Ease is active and that you're placing an order during legal delivery hours. Save yourself a trip to the dispensary with a visit to ease.com, which again is spelled E-A-Z-E. That's ease.com. All right, time for the Blitz. A new poll out of New Mexico cements the storyline of the ever-building wave of support for legal marijuana. 
The results of the poll conducted in March were just released and shows that 63% of polled respondents were in favor of legalizing the taxed and regulated sale of adult use marijuana. The percentage of those who strongly support legalization was 46%, a 6% jump up from when the question was first asked two years ago. Pop over to the Santa Fe, New Mexican for more details on demographics. Ohio state officials have postponed the announcement of dispensary license winners as they work to open up a functional medical marijuana program. The Ohio Board of Pharmacy had earlier scheduled a special meeting to be held today where it would announce the first round of medical marijuana dispensary license winners, but has since canceled today's meeting, saying the picks would be named at their next monthly meeting to start on June 4th. Ohio applicants are not happy as some of them have been holding commercial retail space that they will now have to pay for another month. But a board of pharmacy spokesperson said that they were still waiting to hear back on some applicants background checks. Tom Angel over Marijuana Moments picked up on some news of a bill that passed out of the U.S. House of Representatives yesterday that would allow people in the end stages of a terminal illness to try drugs that have not yet been given FDA approval. The official language of the Right to Try Act, now headed for the desk of President Trump, seems to open the door for qualifying patients to use medical marijuana, as well as other drugs like MDMA and psilocybin, the active ingredient in hallucinogenic mushrooms. Popping back up to Canada for a couple headlines, Marijuana Business Daily has news of Health Canada officials clarifying a rule governing small 200 square meter grow operations that prevents cultivators from growing in their vertical space without it counting towards their cultivation limit. If a 200 meter license holder were to stack shelved cultivation space in their 200 square foot room, each growing surface would count toward their limit. That same rule does not apply to any other class of cultivator. Canadian marijuana giant Canopy Growth Corporation is setting aside $1 million Canadian or $780,000 U.S. to be invested in entrepreneurs seeking one of the new micro business license types that will be made available as the nation rolls out border to border legalization. In addition to the aforementioned 200 square meter cultivation micro license, Health Canada will also be issuing similarly scaled licenses for marijuana testing, processing, seedling propagation, and even hemp cultivation. It's these classes of smaller license holders that Canopy Rivers, the partially owned subsidiary of Canopy Growth Corporation running the program, will target with their new investment fund. We return now to the storyline in Utah around the battle to place a ballot measure before voters in November on the matter of legalizing medical cannabis. This is the one where prohibitionists have been working in a last minute desperation bid to convince people who have signed on in support of the ballot measure to change their minds. The latest update on things has those same fearful prohibitionists filing a lawsuit asking a judge to bar the ballot measure because marijuana is illegal federally. Things are spiced up a bit here because a hearing on the matter won't likely happen before the June 1st deadline that Utah has to certify the measure. And finally for today, Mary Jane has an interesting story up about efforts in Canada to produce beer that gets you high without getting you drunk. If a company were able to pull that off, it'd be a huge market changer and disruptor. So I think that sector is worth keeping a sharp eye on. I'd swing over for the full dive in on this one. Those are the headlines and news for the day. I'll be back with you again tomorrow morning with another information-packed episode of Marijuana Today Daily. But in the meantime, if you have any stories to share or feedback to give, zip us an email to headlines at mjtodaydaily.com. And while you're clicking around the interwebs, swing over to our Twitter account at mjtodaydaily and visit our website at mjtodaydaily.com to find links to all the news we cover. What do you call a droid that always takes the longest route? R2 Detour. Thanks to our sponsor, Ease, and all of our awesome patron listeners for the support that makes this show possible. To join the lesser strengths of the patron listeners yourself, swing over to our website at mjtodaydaily.com and click on that big blue button at the top of the page that says, Become a Patron. I'm your host, Shay Gunther. Thanks for tuning in and starting your day with marijuana today. Today. One take, Shay. One take.